Hey there, air signs. It's your girl, the Empress Chanel, coming at you with another weekly reading, all right? So um, don't forget to check my description box for everything that's down there. Like, share, subscribe this video once you're done watching it. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. I didn't pull anything out, so I have to do that right now. All right, let's start with the Moonology. What do we have for Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Spirit? What do we have for Libra, Aquarius, Gemini? A new start is coming soon. What do you need to release? A new romantic cycle begins. And luck is on your side. Now this uh, new start is coming is new moon. What do you need to release? Waning moon. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. And a new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. All right. to some messages from the guides and I'm gonna get started all right what messages from the guides do we have what messages from our guides do we have for the air signs Libra Aquarius Gemini what messages do their guides have thoughts create your reality Forgive yourself. So that comes out with what do you need to release? And you, I know I've talked before about, um, you know, releasing those feelings of um, guilt. Um, you have to forgive yourself and you have to forgive others in order to, um, you know, continue on in your journey, your healing journey. All right. We have make each day count. A new romantic cycle begins. So, you know, yes, make each day count. Every day is a new day. You have a new day to learn, to grow, to redo the things that you've done wrong before and set your intentions. Okay. That comes out with luck is on your side. So it's almost like you're lucky because you're a powerful manifester. Once you set your intentions, it's a wrap after that. Like... To others, it may seem like luck, but to you, it's just, it's just how you roll. <laughs> All righty, I'll move these over here. All right. So, what do we have for Libra, Aquarius, Gemini? What do we? What's going on with Libra, Aquarius, Gemini? I did a ten card uh, Celtic spread yesterday. Oops, these are upside down. I did a 10 card Celtic spread yesterday for the fire signs. I think I might um, do those more often so you guys can see because I do, um, that's how I do my readings, my personal readings. I also did a rune casting yesterday. Um, I haven't done that on my channel at all yet. So I've just um, messed with the runes. I haven't actually done a full casting and reading um, for a sign yet. Okay, so what we have out here in our first row is the Empress, the Three of Wands here, the Four of Swords, and the Six of Wands. All right, now let me see. Okay, a new start is coming, thoughts create your reality, and then we have the Empress right here under it, and we, as we know, the Empress embodies all of the um, qualities or attributes that um, each and every queen has. She is um, definitely knows how to create. She is definitely a creator, a creator of reality. She is um, intuitive, so she can create her reality out of anything, from her thoughts, from, you know, quick action, from anything. She's a... She's a a much 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 very 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 powerful creator okay um, she has a lot of passion she's nurturing um, in tune with her emotions um, a boss you know um, very good at communication so 
and then we have luck is on your side so we we'll see here there might be a victory um, in the works for you you set your intentions um, what do you need to release it looks here like she's just waiting on her ships to come in she's waiting on her abundance her um, manifestations to come in because she has released all right so I'm gonna see why is the Empress here actually okay I'm being told to do something different <laughs> gratitude okay so we're just gonna get another row out here and then we're gonna clarify with the other deck okay we've got the eight of swords we've got temperance so so far out here we have Libra <clears throat> and we have Gemini we have Aries the Empress is Taurus Libra and six of wands is Leo temperance is Sagittarius all right all right we have the death that Scorpio energy it's too many but I see the hermit okay And we have the Eight of Wands, which is Sagittarius energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. Hmm. All righty. So we are to clarify with these cards. All righty. Angels, Ancestors, Spirits, Guides, Totems. What do we have here? So it seems like someone wants to um, come in fast. They want to do something. Um, it's like you set your intentions for your abundance, for your manifestations of what you have coming in. This seems like it may be like um, someone who has <clears throat> either branched off and started a business or who is going towards someone else or is calling someone else in, wants someone else to come in. Um, I'm seeing this has given you a new start on life, um, has given you motivation to branch off and do other things that you didn't think that you were gonna be able to do, okay? This is something that you thought about for a while that you wanted to do. Um, you didn't know whether or not it was going to be successful. You kind of held yourself up there in your mind about it, um, went a little bit back and forth about it in your head. But you started to see a little bit of fruition. You started to see some of your victories start to come in. Um, all right, let's get some clarifiers out here so we can really see what's going on. Why is the Empress here? All right, we got three cards exactly. All right, we got the King of Wands, the World, and the Six of Pentacles for the Empress here. Okay, move this out the way. Okay, so yeah, that and that exactly is right. With the new start is coming, your thoughts create your reality. So if you have any type of thoughts that are restrictive or any type of thoughts that are like, um, you know, I just don't know if this is going to happen, you know, those types of things slow down your progress and whatever it is that you're trying to do. I'm seeing here Six of Pentacles, but with the Six of Pentacles, we have one hand coming from the sky, one hand from down below. Um, and then we have this road right here. So um, it's going to be an equal give and take road. Um, as long as, you know, you are putting out there what you want, you're going to get that back. Um, you're going to reciprocate back what you're putting out there. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be I'm spending money or, you know, I'm, I'm giving this amount of money. So I should be getting this amount of money back. But it's more or less like, say, you have an ancestor altar and you put, um, you know, money on your ancestor altar and you do what you're supposed to do i don't know if you do candle magic or whatever it is that you do you know pray to your ancestors meditate um you know do your healing work do your clearing work 
you know, those are the type of things that um, make the divine see that you're ready to reciprocate um, your blessings. Okay. So you may even get a new uh, beginning with a new counterpart. Don't mind the age difference. Okay. Why is this three of wands here? It's like you're slowly healing and forgiving yourself and, and understanding and wanting to come in. Why is the three of wands here, please? Why is the three of wands here? Okay. All right. So we have the king of wands, the ten of pentacles, and the queen of wands. <clears throat> okay. As we know, um, the King of Wands is Aquarius, Queen of Wands is Libra Virgo, and the Ten of Pentacles is Virgo. So I'm seeing here you may you may want to release the fact or forgive yourself about um, you know maybe how you have dealt with relationships in the past. I'm seeing here. Um, you may have been a king of swords, which caused um, your counterpart to be queen of swords for a while. But see, the queen of swords, she has her um, heart locked away. Or this could have been someone else who put you in this position to where you just kind of had to be a little bit tucked away with your heart. It wasn't gone all the way, but it definitely was protected. Um, this could be a family member that I'm talking about that you are keeping yourself away from or that you're forgiving yourself about. Um, um, I am feeling like that for some like this is a family member that you had to release um it may have been really really hard um, for you to release this family member but it could have been causing a rift the empress here could be a mother um the kings and queens here could be children or adult children um and it's like um hard to forgive yourself um for letting a parent go but that's the only way that you know that you're going to get your new start. So, hmm. And it doesn't even have to necessarily be a parent. Like I said, this could be a, a, a counterpart, boyfriend, girlfriend, situationship, baby daddy, whatever. Job that you're releasing or letting go and you're feeling kind of bad because maybe you left them there with a certain number of employees or, or what have you. Um, and you're feeling bad. But I, I feel like you shouldn't let it feel bad. I mean, if you already have your new start is there. And you know it's something that the divine is pushing you to do or has you to do. Don't feel bad for doing that, okay? Once you forgive yourself and release these feelings of the things that, um, you know, don't serve you. Once you release these people that no longer serve you, you should be able to um, have your abundance, your ten of pentacles. That is the end of that cycle, um, you know, judgment-free zone. But don't block your own blessings, block your own abundance because you want to spare somebody else's feelings. Okay, because you'll end up ho holding yourself back. Make each day count. You want to move forward every day. You want to make each day like it's a new day, like a new romantic cycle begins every morning when you wake up. Say your affirmations in the morning, you know, say, I am going to have a smooth day. I am going to have a wonderful day. You know, my, the divine is going to protect me against those who no longer serve me that I'm trying to get rid of. You have to communicate with your spirit or guides, you know. And if you're scared to communicate with yourself, your spirit is you. You can't be scared to talk to yourself. <laughs> okay. So uh, we have for the four of swords, we have the chariot. Strength, that's Leo energy and Ten of Swords, that's Gemini energy. And the chariot is Cancer energy. All right. Yeah. So you had to muster up the strength to move on. It was like um, you were in this uh, relaxed, uh, not re relaxed, but like, um, how do I want to say it? Like uh, meditative almost type of state, like uh, calm, very calm, almost too calm um, in this situation that you were going through. And um, like I said, this could be past 
present or near future um, I say that in all of my videos guys um, <clears throat> so um, yeah like I was saying in the past situation with the situation before I'm seeing here it could have even been a third party situation maybe I have been picking up on that a lot lately only I'm saying that because we have one queen two kings a lot of times it, that doesn't work too well you know what I mean <clears throat> but it's almost like one king was thinking that the queen was talking to someone else when really she wasn't okay and th those thoughts that he had um he or she you know put the genders as you will those thoughts really made him think about like um you know giving up the family like really messing up the family and going out there and doing him but you know he gotta you gotta forgive yourself for even having thoughts like that um we all go through things in our past relationship and what you had to understand was this isn't your past relationship with this leo i feel like this leo could be a past relationship for somebody and now this libra has the, his uh virgo um and the ten of pentacles and this libra has to forgive themselves for the way that they've coldly treated this virgo um i don't know why i'm saying that virgo libra because queen of swords is virgo libra but you know maybe this uh this libra or you did not have an equal give and take before with um empress with the mother of their children or father of their children they didn't have an equal give and take before okay so um they had to leave they, they thought about what they wanted next what they would tolerate next what they won't tolerate next in the next person but doing that created their reality now you have a reality where you have someone who wants to have equal give and take with you who who you feel like is a perfect counterpart um, to have this ten of pentacles this uh, abundance with but you have to forgive yourself for bringing back in those thoughts or believing um you know things from your previous relationship um because that is going to create a reality for you that is going to keep you all bogged up in your mind you know libras you you air signs y'all like to think a lot so that will keep you in thinking 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 and you have to release those images those feelings those um thought patterns about the um previous relationship because if you want to completely like really start new um you have to release those things and you have to forgive yourself for treating your new counterpart um, like how you should have treated your previous counterpart, if you get what I'm saying. But um, yeah, with the chariot here and strength and the ten of swords, I'm seeing here that um, you are understanding that this is the end of the cycle with this old person, that you have to end that type of thinking, that you have to move forward and you have to move forward with more strong, productive thought about this relationship, but you really had to take time um, to get there okay see the ten of swords here in this deck she doesn't have a bunch of knives in her back but she is walking away from from her hurt she's walking away from her pain you can't hurt me anymore is that what it's saying okay make each day count with this new partner that you have a new romantic cycle begins new moon in libra so you're a totally new person in this relationship or in this next relationship coming up you will be a totally new person not new in a bad way but more strong okay more clear in your communication more understanding why is the six of wands here and my air just came on y'all so i apologize for the loud noise if it's too loud for you but it's hot down here in virginia i don't know where y'all at it's hot over here Ooh, i'm messing up because i'm not even paying attention all right why is the six of wands here so now you feel like now you feel like you won the lottery with this new person maybe this old person you just shelled out too much money um divine now y'all know there's too many dang on cards please thank you can i please get three for air signs so like i said now you feel like you're with somebody who's winning wearing a chicken dinner like now you're with somebody that you feel like you could marry. Now, you might be scared of that higher level of commitment. Um, well, not really scared, but a little bit hesitant, a little bit slow to get to it. Um, you want to take your time. You want to make sure that this is the right one because you may have gotten to that point with the person before. And 
see how that worked out. So Six of Wands clarified by the Wheel, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, you got your victory now. You didn't know. You set your intentions. You know, you're like, um, this next person, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. This is how I'm going to do. Um, um, and once you go out there and you forgive yourself and, you know, you become stronger person because of everything that you've been through, you go ahead, you go within, you meditate, you know, you get yourself basically out of those old thoughts of how you thought family life should have been or you know you thought uh, being with the person that you thought you were going to be with now you're with the person that you know you want to be with you know for for a fact like we have the world out here we have um the wheel you know we have ace of pentacles and the hierophant don't forget is at the bottom of the deck over here so this is somebody that you really see yourself marrying king of swords is finally with his queen okay So you are definitely wanting to um, go out and start a new cycle with this person, the Six of Wands. This person could be another Leo um, or this uh, old Leo could be wanting to come in and get her victory and get her Libra back. You know, want to start something new, want to give a gift or, or a new form of communication. You know, maybe things haven't been stable in this uh, Leo's life since the Libra left them, which I mean... <laughs> It's Libra. It's Libra. I'm sorry, Aquarius and Gemini, if I'm not calling y'all out a lot, but I'm seeing a lot of Libra out here. But, you know, Libra is there to balance the scales. You know, Aquarius and Gemini is there for, you know, wonderful communication. Okay? All of you have the, have the knack for communication, the gift of gab. And this person is going to want to come in, but it's almost like they had to get knocked off that high horse. Like, they thought that just because they was the baby father or the baby mother that um you would always come back to them the cycle would always complete begin and end with them but it, that's not how it works the cycle the world over here is ending with them and the wheel you're jumping back on a new karmic wheel with your new person with your ace of pentacles with the person that is going to be your abundance okay your completion your number one your ace boom coon okay that is your victory this new this newness that you have coming in is going to be your victory, okay? Why is the Eight of Swords? Ooh, okay. Why is the Eight of Swords here? We've got the Empress again. Yeah, so you were blind to a lot of things that you were going through with this uh, previous partner, with this baby father, baby mother, okay? But you, like I said earlier, you have a new partner. You are creative. You are creation. You want a new partner that is equally the same as you that is just as balanced as you that can balance you out you can balance them out it's it's an equal give and take now and that's what you want knight of cups and the magician yeah this um previous partner is trying to manifest you back in they may have even tried to trap you with a baby um or i don't know air signs you might have tried to trap somebody with a baby i don't know what y'all got going on for real in y'all life but um yeah i'm seeing um you know someone trying to manifest themselves out of this uh like stuck state of mind trying to get up out of their head um I'm seeing you, air sign, trying to get up out of your head. It's like you have a new love that you want to go towards. But here, we have five of wands here at the bottom of the deck. You're literally like battling yourself in your head. Like, did I manifest this? Is this the one? Is this the one that I've been talking about? Like, um, you know, take the cuffs off yourself, if you will. Eight of swords always remind me of somebody with their hands behind their back like they're getting handcuffed. Take the cuffs off yourself, if you will, off your brain, if you will. Take the blindfold off. This is the one for you. This is the one that you've manifested in, okay? You, you're you thinking that this person might be flighty. I always point out the feathers on the bottom of on his shoe. You might think that this person might be flighty or a player or something like that. But I really think that this is the person that you have manifested in. You have manifested in a new empress, okay? Or emperor. You have manifested the newness. The one that you thought was the empress before ended up being the king of wands. But now this empress, this new empress that you have is really abundant for you, is really the one that's going to make, you know, your life complete. This is the, the new 
the newness that you've been wanting, the new romantic cycle that is coming in, okay, with this with this empress. And that was, Empress is Taurus Libra, as I said before. So you may have even leveled yourself up to Empress status, okay? And now you're like before in your previous relationship where, you know, you were maybe a little bit, you felt lower than this person. Um, you felt like this person was Emperor Empress and you were King Queen, but you were getting to your Emperor Empress and maybe they put you down for that a lot and, um, you know, made you feel less than. Um, there may have been a lot of back and forth bickering, little petty fights, little conflicts here and there. And so you're, you, you're, this is why you're confused and all up in your head about it because you're like, I thought I had an empress before. Like I said, this person could be an empress just because they have kids with you. And this person could be an empress just because they have children as well. I don't know if this is with you or somebody else, but like I'm saying, like, you thought that you had an empress before where they were hidden behind a mask, but now that you really have an empress who is compassionate, who is loving, who is magical, who is wonderful being and gives you this new love that you never had before, you're stuck in your head about it because it's like, is this too good to be true? I don't know, but you know, temperance is right here. And then Hierophant were over there at the bottom of the deck. And like I said, we had King and Queen, which are divine counterparts over here that came out with the Ten of Pentacles over the Three of Wands. So this is definitely something that you've called in. You've called in your divine counterpart. And the divine gave it to you because you listened. You left that old one alone. Why is temperance here? It took divine timing for this person to come in. It's like you had to learn a lesson with your um, prior. I'm going to leave this upside down. Because I don't put these upside down. Yeah, they're right. Nine of Pentacles. That's Virgo energy. So this Virgo doesn't care about money. Doesn't care about materials. I'm seeing like this um, over here with this Empress. This previous relationship. That person. It's not like they um, was money hungry. But they definitely had their hand out all the time. Definitely was expecting for you to do things. Pay for things. Do this. Do that. Like not an equal give and take it was like you was doing it because you thought that's what you were supposed to be doing but now you're doing it for this new empress for this new person because you know that this person deserves it you've seen everything that this person has been through just as much as you have been through can i get two more for temperance please thank you yeah nine of pentacles reverse we have here the tower and the five of cups so yeah you had a powerful realization um temperance the divine had to go ahead and step in and let you know like look you had a powerful realization that you had to just leave this person alone um you know maybe when you met this new person this person may have been um in a sad and depressed state too um both of you may have met under um similar circumstances and it's almost like the divine you know pouring one cup into another it's like you know you give you love, you give you love, you ground me, you're fluid, you know, um, you know, you guys were able to express yourselves with one another. You were able to ground one another. You were able to pour your cup into this person. They were able to pour your cup into that one. And you guys literally fill each other up every time you talk to each other. So it was like you had a powerful realization that this person isn't about the money. This person is hurt and broken as well. And that's why you have to forgive yourself because you needed to release the way that you were with this person, how you were an emperor with this person, I mean, emperor, how you were um, king of swords with this person, you know, you were a great communicator and things like that and stable, but kind of cold with the, with the emotions type of deal. And um, you knew that this new person kind of needed the emotions, but you were, this new person had their heart he uh, sealed off too. So it was only in divine timing, in the right timing, with temperance, with love, with care, with time, that you two were able to overcome this five of cups type of feeling together. Um, and you had the powerful realization that this was supposed to be what you were supposed to be doing together. Okay. It was never about the money. It was never about the money. And I'm feeling like that also this second person is someone that you don't have kids with because nine of pentacles is also my, um, card for pregnancy or, you know, being pregnant or being abundant, um, with something. So this person is not, um, and you and you guys may even have come to the powerful realization that you will not be able to have children together. Um, but it is OK in due time. You know, you haven't had children yet, but in due time, there's a lot of ways out there to have children. 
Why is the death card out here? Matter of fact, we're going to get death and eight of wands at the same time. Why is death and eight of wands out here? So I can go ahead and upload this video for you guys. This has become rather long. All right. So death is here because of seven of cups, six of wands, queen of pentacles. Let's get this eight of wands and then we'll clarify that. We got the king of pentacles over here. Eight of Wands again and the Hermit. So you guys are <laughs> this Virgo don't want to go away. We got the Two of Wands over here at the bottom of the deck. So you needed to make a decision. Okay, you're finally going to make the decision to get together with this person to up your level of commitment. Maybe you are thinking about proposing to this person or thinking about throwing out hints out there that you want to be married if you want this person to propose to you. But I'm feeling like death and rebirth here, you know, rebirth has the sun, death and rebirth has the sun in the background. So that is the potential that is happiness on the horizon. Okay. Um, we have queen of pentacles over here, clarifying death and rebirth. And we have king of pentacles right next to it, clarifying the eight of wands. Now I see why they wanted me to clarify these together. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is your victory. This is your divine counterpart. We've got king and queen of swords here together we got king and queen of pentacles here coming out right next to each other together okay you got the empress over here king of wands over here that's you know maybe her situation from before his situation from before apply genders as you will but you are with the person that you're supposed to be with now you had to go through that death you had to go through that trying time you had to have the experience with this previous person because this whole new relationship is a totally different vibe. We got six of wands out here twice. This is your victory. This is your number one. It's like, you know, you didn't even have to make a choice with this one. You don't have to reflect, you know, you don't, this person isn't controlling over anything. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't have to weigh out none of your options. Matter of fact, you dropped every option that you had. You let it all go. That's that death. You just dropped everybody. And if you could have dropped this baby mama or baby daddy, you would have dropped them too. But for the fact that you have children, <laughs> you can't completely cut all communication off with them. But um, I'm seeing that this person, this baby mama, baby daddy might be even like upset, depressed that you don't want to move on with them. They may have tried to say, OK, you know, maybe I'll wait. Maybe time will take its place. I'll let them date or whatever. And then they can come back like but you never came back like you literally found your ten of pentacles. Your queen of swords found the king of swords. The king of pentacles found his queen of pentacles like you found stability, stability. OK, you found, um, you know, someone who cares about your health, someone who can help you with your finances, get your credit right, things like that. Um, someone who's good in the home. Like I mentioned, this this new person may be a parent as well. And you see how good they are with their children. So it was like it was no choice. You know, it, it was a simple choice. It was an easy choice. Like you didn't even have to make a choice. It was like, do I want to be miserable with this other person fighting, having petty arguments all the time? Like y'all might not have even been like fighting over nothing for real. Like you probably don't even remember half the fights that y'all had, what they were about. It was just petty, stupid shit. So it was like, do I want to take my chances and just stay with this baby mama, baby daddy and eh, whatever, I can handle the fight and I just ignore it. Or do you want your abundance with who the divine is trying to put yourself with? Okay. Forgive yourself for taking everything that you took with this last person. Forgive yourself for putting everything you put this new person through as far as not opening up yourself with the emotions or letting them know how you really felt that you really want a higher level of commitment that you want more with them. Um, so forgive yourself for that because this person is understanding. This person is a great communicator. This person um, wants to ground you, wants you to come in. We have eight of um, eight of wands out here twice, and then we have eight of swords. So that's three eights, okay? Mastery, completion, okay? Accomplishment. Like you're taking action with this new person for this new person. You guys might take trips together, I'm seeing, okay? You guys might go on retreats together. That's why we have the hermit here. You might retreat you know, and go within and go in together and people like well, where they go, what they're doing type of thing. But I think I'm seeing that you do like the fact that this new person could be a Virgo or any other earth sign because we have Ace of Pentacles out here too. And Two of Pentacles, which is Capricorn, uh, Queen of Pentacles, which is um, Capricorn as well. Okay. And King of Pentacles, which is Taurus. And then we also have the Empress, which is Taurus. But um, like I'm saying, um, you want to go on a retreat with this person. You want to go away with this person. You want to just, you know, 
take a vacation, get outside of your mind, relax. You know, this, you know, this is the person that you want to love, that you want to marry. Um, I'm seeing here with the two of wands at the bottom of the deck and the hierophant at the bottom of the deck, this may be a destination wedding. You guys might elope. You might just go out and do it. Um, <clears throat> what's up under here? Yeah, seven of wands, five of cups, and five of pentacles. So you're definitely um, coming in from the cold and you're um, <laughs> up under this two of wands and we have the emperor over here and the ten of cups. So the emperor finally comes out with his empress. In the end, you choose to be that emperor. Like I said, uh, you are protected. Your relationship is protected against um, any ill feelings or anything that anybody has coming from you. You are finally coming in from the cold, from this uh, cold feeling from this cold heart that you had um you're bringing this person in and you just go get it this is divine like i'm i don't know how many freaking divine couples we have out here with temperance and the hierophant like seriously all we need is the high priestess out here <laughs> and i'm pretty sure if i kept going she would have been there too but um anyway air signs that was a beautiful read you know out with the old and with the new pretty much is what i'm getting and the new is where you're supposed to be the bottom of this oracle which i normally don't read says trust your intuition you know this that old person wasn't for you and you know what you got to do with this new person trust your intuition okay this is for you this new cycle is for you let's get a rune out here for you guys okay gabo this is this is the divine's gift to you. You deserve love, okay? You deserve love. And just for a little ending tidbit, let's get some angel answers out here. Okay, angels. Look for a sign. That one jumped out immediately. I barely had to shuffle. Reconsider. Reconsider. If you're reconsidering... Like two of wands is out here twice, right? Two of pentacles and two of wands. So decision making. So whatever decision it is that you're making on going back or doing something with this ex or previous person, I'm feeling like you might want to reconsider. You might want to look for signs that this person just isn't for you. This person doesn't have the right intentions for you. This ex person may um, gaslight you into believing that it's you that's doing something wrong all the time to them. Like, um... So you might want to look for some signs, reconsider, um, going back on that. The situation will improve though, okay? Things will work themselves out. I mean, if you're a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, you know how to sort things out, okay? Especially with yourself and your head, um, you know, but you got to get up out of your head because your thoughts are creating your reality. So if you're having a lot of back and forth in your mind about certain things, you don't know what to do. You're feeling stuck. You're getting stuck in your brain about certain things. It's because your thoughts are creating your reality. You're making yourself stuck. OK, just do just go. Just go with the flow. Go with what the divine has for you, wants you to do. And just be happy in that. OK, bask in those feelings. Be appreciative. Be grateful. Have gratitude for everything that the divine is 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 doing for you be grateful for the situation that you were in before because it taught you lessons about what you want and don't want moving forward be grateful that the divine brought you out of that situation as well and brought you together with this new divine counterpart or divine situation all right all right, air signs. So that was your read for today for Wednesday. Make sure to check out some of your other signs, sun, moon and rising. You can find that in the birth chart at the link that I have in the description box. And um, I will see you next time or I'll see you on Friday when I have just the regular collective reading readings. And, um, you know, I do the random ones over the weekend. But all right, y'all have a good day. Peace. And if nobody told you today, I'm gonna tell you I love you. Bye.